Let's look at question 2.3. Table 4 shows the financial overview of Swellendam municipality in hundred in rand thousands. Okay, that's quite important because if they say that, they expect you to put your answers like that. Okay, so whenever you see that, highlight it, give it a circle, make sure you know what's going on. Including the income and expenditure, you should be familiar with those terms, what's coming in and what's going out. The, uh, the original budgeted amount, the adjusted budgeted amount, and the actual amount. Okay, so there's all these different columns. Due to over or underspending, this original budgeted amount is reviewed during the year and adjusted accordingly. Okay, so remember I said to you, and I say this all the time, but students get really worked up about these um, pieces of information. All you need to do is read it, don't overanalyze it, because remember, the questions help you understand what's required of you. Okay, so table four is financial overview of Swellendam. We have the income. We have the different things that the, the income came from, from grants, taxes, etc. And then what was originally budgeted, adjusted, and what actually was came in. Then expenditure, same thing as above, and then net surplus or deficit. Remember, surplus or deficit is basically just saying, what was my income minus my expenditure? And that gives me surplus or deficit. Okay, we see that there's some outstanding amounts, okay? We know that we probably can have to calculate those. That's kind of the gig, right? So let's see what we can do. But by doing that, we want to first and foremost go and read the questions. To use table four above to answer the questions that follow. Identify the item that was over budgeted for uh, by more than 40 million. Okay, well... Remember, each of these numbers have three zeros at the end, okay? That's quite important. And you'll be saying, oh, where does that come from? It comes from over, the, over there at the top, right? Remember I said to you, take note of these things, okay? So it's already said to me, identify an item that was over budgeted for. So it can be income or expenditure. We can see, I'm just gonna put all the zeros in here. We can see it's not my expenditure, okay? We can see, because you can see the difference there. Because remember, when we're talking about millions, what are we looking at? We're just looking at the first three, okay? The first three digits, okay? Because remember, this is where my millions are sitting. There's my thousands, and there's my hundreds. So here, compare 61 to 48, it's not 40. Compare 71 to 111, mm, that's 40. So what was over budgeted? Grants. Now, you could be saying, what about tax, levies, and tariffs? I hear you. Right, but we haven't been given that. And they often asked us to calculate that yet, so that's not going to be our answer right now. Our answer right now is going to be grants. Okay, as it says over here, over budgeted, over budgeted by more than 40 million. Okay, so we say 2.3.1, and you just say grants. It doesn't ask for an explanation, it doesn't ask for anything. Grants done. Let's move on. Determine the adjusted. Budgeted amount for taxes, levies, and tariffs. So basically saying, what's this value over here? Now, we know that this value at the bottom, right, is a total. So it adds up everything there. So if we take that amount and that amount and subtract it from that, it leaves us with what is outstanding, okay? This is this kind of thought pattern where you have to understand how numbers are made up. Okay, so what we're going to say... We say 340688. So we basically say the total minus, right, the amounts that we have there, right? What's already made, what we really know for certain. And what left over is going to be our answer to this question. Okay? We put that in. As always, be very careful that you are putting this into your calculator correctly. I'm sure if you've watched more of my videos, you'll see that I make a lot of calculator errors. Um, and it, look, I've already made calculator errors. <laughs> I'm telling you not to do it and I'm doing it myself. There we go. And our answer is 180767. Now, be careful over here, right? Because you can't just write it like that. You have to actually write it out as a RAND value. So put the RAND value in there. And actually, if you want to be very accurate, right? You have to put three zeros at the end, okay? But you can't put three zeros there because that's not actually the answer, okay? Because if you look at this, it doesn't give you with three zeros. You have to say, well, we take our answer and then we add three zeros. 
because that then is representative of the actual numbers that we're working with. So just be really careful there because students can sometimes be, they, they're not on the ball there. Okay, 2.3.3, give a reason why the amount 9099 is shown in brackets. That's over there. Why is it in brackets? Well, remember I said to you, surplus or deficit is shown here. What this is, is it's saying my income minus my expenditure gives me this. You can see here that my expenditure is larger than my income. So those brackets, and you should know this from other examples, but if you don't, don't stress, right? That Those brackets indicate a deficit. Here, income minus expenditure, we have a surplus. That's not the case over here. So we say, what does it indicate? It indicates that the amount... The amount is a deficit. That's all you need to say. Okay, students often want to say so much more. Didn't ask for that. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Show how the total net surplus or deficit amount for the original budgeted amount was calculated. Okay, so what we're doing over here, let's just check where we are talking. So we're saying, well, how... How did we actually get to that 9099? Like, how did we get there? That's what it's saying. Now, what's really useful about this question is if you didn't get 2.3.3, by doing 2.3.4, it actually gives you the answer to 2.3.3. So, a little sneaky thing there, right? So, so, show how the net surplus amount for the original, so we're talking about this first column here, was calculated. Well, we know that it's income minus expenditure, which in this case is going to be 313. 313792 minus 322891. I'm going to pop that in our calculator. Okay, I'm going to try not to make any silly mistakes like I always do. Okay, 322891. And that's how it is calculated. Okay, and that's all you need to do. And now, if you didn't know what the answer was to 2.3.3, you know why now. You'd say, mm, deficit. Okay. Um, you can also say that your income is, is less than your expenditure, but the correct wording would just be deficit. Okay, let's move on to the last question of this video. We're doing well. Now, a little bit more involved. Four marks, so we need to do a little more thinking. The actual total expenditure, Y, so we're looking over here, Y, shows a net surplus amount of 2,53% uh, 2, of the total income. So this is 2,53% of that, okay? Show by means of calculations that the table value of the actual amount for the total expenditure Z to the nearest whole number is this. Effectively, what we're doing is we're calculating Y and Z. That's what we're doing. Don't overcomplicate it. Let's start by doing Y because that's what they listed. Y is 2,53% of total income. Now you could be saying, oh, but Margie, there's lots of total incomes there. Remember, we stick to our column. Stay in your lane, right? So 2,53% times by 317.582. Where did I get there? Over there. Pop it in. 2,53% times 317.582. Okay. And you're going to get this amount here. Remember, don't round off, only at the end. So 8034.8246, there's a little comma there, right? Leave that be. Then what you need to say is you say, well, income minus expenditure equals my surplus, okay? Or in this case, it's going to be Y, right? This Remember, because this is, because this is positive, we know it's a surplus. Now, because it's a surplus, well, we can say, well, my expenditure, my expenditure is going to be less than my income because I have a surplus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract my surplus from my income and that will give me my expenditure. And what they're testing here is that you know the relationship between these things. Okay. So what we're going to say is we're going to say, well, my expenditure is my surplus minus my income. Which, what is my surplus? I mean, sorry, did this incorrectly. Income minus my surplus. Let me not be silly there. My income is 317.582 minus 8034,8246. Okay, 
income minus surplus gives me my expenditure. We know my expenditure is less than my income because we have a surplus. Pop it in. 317 582 minus 8034, 8246. And my answer there is uh, 309547, 1754. Okay, obviously put your round values in there. Well, don't put your round values in yet because we haven't actually finished the question because it says here. We have to round to the nearest whole number. The nearest whole number, right, we want, basically don't want any decimals. So we look here, we say, well, 1 is less than 4, so we're going to round it down. So my answer is then 309547, and we are done. Okay. Now, there is a little bit of an issue with this question, right, because it does say that all values are put in rand thousands. And then it doesn't necessarily put that into the answer. So just be careful that when you're doing this, you can see that in some points I put the round thousand and other points I didn't. Just be very specific in how you're working it out. The marker will take it into consideration because it's in the question, but just be careful. Very important takeaway is the income expenditure and surplus relationship. Let's move on to the next question.